Hi everybody. Welcome back to my page, notjusthere.info. Today I will be showing you, starting to show you um, the steps that you will be taking when you while you're taking your state board test. First though, I'm going to start out with your attire because you are supposed to wear black pants. I've been told that you can wear a different color top but I would say to be on the safe side, just keep it all black. I personally wore black pants, a black top, and a black jacket. Now your jacket, I'm going to show you. I don't have black pants on right now, but uh, I'm going to show you only the jacket, only because my one of my classmates, she took hers and was actually told that her jacket was too short. So. I really was never, I don't remember being told that the jackets had to be a certain length, but I'm going to show you the length of the jacket the, that I had on, which will kind of give you an idea of how long, and mine was fine, so that'll give you an idea of what length to wear. Also, you put your jacket on because they will not even let you inside of the test without it on. Okay, here's my jacket. Um, um, if you can see, it comes uh, about right here on my leg. It, that makes it so mine comes right here. My One of my uh, classmates was told that hers was like two fingers too short. So I really don't know what that means. I don't know if hers was up a little higher. If they wanted to cover all of your, your you know, your past your thigh, your torso area. But this was the length of mine. So make sure that your jacket is at least this long, you know, and it falls on your leg somewhere about mid thigh. If you said that's my knee, it's my, and this kind of ends right there. Okay, so that is about the size of the space that you will have during the test. So you will not have a very large space. If you remember what the lunchroom tables used to look like when you were in the elementary school with the bench attached to it, that's the the way the tables are going to look and you're going to be right next to someone. There's going to be someone on each side of you where you're going to feel like you don't even have room to move your elbows. I personally got lucky and was at the end of the table so I had room on my left side even though I was kind of cramped on my right side. So trust me, your little area that you're going to work in is not going to be much larger than this right here. Okay, so now I'm going to move the table to the side simply so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm not standing in front of the table. So, first bag you're going to use is your sanitation. Your sanitation bag. Get a piece of paper towel out of your bag. Before you take everything out of your bag, first take out your alcohol. As you can see, 70% alcohol, piece of paper towel, dampen it with the alcohol, and wipe your table down. You wipe your space down. And this is sanitizing your area. That's why this part of the test is called sanitation. Okay, so now your, your area is all wiped down. After you get done with that, you can kind of lay the paper right there until you get your bags put up. And you have two bags that you're supposed to have. One of my bags I used for um, the towels, the dirty towels. And what I did was tape the, um, you know, find an area that works for you. And I taped the bag, one of the bags, on one side of the table, which was for my garbage. This area is a little cramped because I can't pull the table back, but you, you would have more a little, a little more space. One and the other bag is for your dirty towels. So this would be your second bag. That again I tape on the side of the table. Depending on if you, you know, I was on a corner, like I said, which made it a little easier for me to tape my bags. But if you're not on a corner and literally in the middle between two people, you can kind of tape a bag on each side. So there's your bag. Then you put 
put your towel out. Now you can actually use a paper towel for this. Make sure it's clean. This one's gotten a little dirty. I don't know why, but you can spread your towel out over your area and still use a paper towel to put on top of that, which is what I did. And you know, then you can put the rest of uh, whatever you're not using back in your bag to keep it out of your way. You have your hand sanitizer, your antiseptic, um, antiseptic, which now my label, I've had this so long, I guess it was in the bag. Um, the name is messed up, but it's supposed to read antiseptic. Your alcohol. your spray bottle and your tape of course and your extra um, napkins you can leave in the bag your paper towels and um, your septic powder and this is how you set up your, your, your table with your, sanita your sanitation bag now mind you you don't put this stuff back in the bag these things can stay on the table for the duration of the test so once you get set up here this stays on your table. Your test. So and also, when I took my test, I had a human um, person that I worked on. I hear now that they're doing manicures. So, I'm assuming at this point that you will need one of these, which is your mannequin head stand, because you're going to need something to keep her head secure. And of course, a mannequin. So her hair is wet right now, <laughs> but um, so that was something that is not in my first set of videos when I showed you how to pack your bags because when I did those videos, which have now been over a year now, I've been really slow about this, forgive me y'all, we weren't using mannequins at that point. We were still using live models. So this is a little um, addition to packing your bags now, you will need one of these and your mannequin head with you also. So let's get started. I'm going to put this on the edge of the table. You might have a little more space at the edge of the table in their setup than I have on this little table right here. I have to make sure that it's not going to fall off. sure but I'm pretty sure that this is probably going to be also a part of the first process now that you have a mannequin head because um, when again I did it we had live models and we did set up our tables before they let our models come and sit down so um, you have to definitely do everything that I showed you in the first set is step as far as wiping the table down setting up all of your things from bag one and then I'm sure after you get all that part set up, you'll probably be breaking out your mannequin stand and your mannequin head. Okay, so again, thanks for watching. And we'll be back with step two. Take care.